What's up my people? Bless up on yourself. Welcome back to the channel. Leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and click that tap bell icon to get notified whenever there's anything new on the channel. Right? So as usual my people, we have some things I'm gonna share with you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna share is that Indicom approved the shooting of the taxi driver in a new Kingston. The Independent Commissioner of Investigation, Indicom, has launched a probe into the incident where a police officer reportedly SHOT a taxi man in New Kingston. The taxi operator, 34-year-old Andre Johnson, was reportedly shot in his leg during an incident that stemmed from him allegedly being illegally parked. Essentially, we were advised that there was an altercation between a taxi man and a police officer. The interaction escalated and the officer discharged his firearm, allegedly, and the taxi man was hit in the tie. Indicom's commissioner, Hugh Faulkner, told our news team. He said Indicom investigators have seized the officer's firearm for submission to the forensic lab for ballistic testing and the investigation is in full operation. People may feel like say, the police officer is going to get in trouble. You see me? Because I don't think... Him should have called the man over him parking illegally. You understand? But them said there was an altercation. So, I know the camera out there. So, you know what I mean? In the come, I go get evidence. So, leave your comment, people. Man accused of killing parents pleads guilty to manslaughter. 25 year old Simeon Ramsey, who is charged with the death of his parents, has been deemed fit to answer to charges and has pleaded guilty. To two counts of manslaughter. Ramsey was charged with two counts of MURDER in the death of Phyllis Ramsey, a 55 year old teacher, and 69 year old Cecile Ramsey, a minister of religion, both of Ontario's Avenue in Portmore, St. Catherine. He is to be sentenced on December 11. Ramsey, a 25 year old teacher who lives with his parents, is said to suffer from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. When he appeared before Justice Bertram Morrison, the Crown accepted his plea for the lesser offence of manslaughter. Allegations are that about 4 a.m. on February 4, 2020, the accused attacked and STAB his parents repeatedly at their home. The Ramses were found by a visiting relative with multiple STAB wounds. The accused was held near Phoenix, park in Portmore after his vehicle crash. He was arrested following a question and answer session. He was charged with two counts of MURDER. He reportedly confessed to the KILLING of his parents. Jaja. So this youth here did sick. You know what I mean? Maybe he did the on medication, maybe not. And he was a teacher also. You see me? So I don't know what trigger him to do that to him parents Jano star so them say although him sick him fit for plea you understand so they are going to give him the lesser charge a manslaughter maybe the reason why they are going to give him the lesser charge is because him sick right so leave your comments people a member subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber and also click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel and give this video a thumbs up. So the British man with them fine. He in a St. Elizabeth, my people, drop out. The police them say them not see no foul play. But them are gonna do the autopsy. You see me I say and see the cars are dead. But them not think foul play involved you see it and as me did that tell you no people maybe him come from the area leave go foreign and because the hustle and bustle are foreign him not get to do them little things yeah so him come back to jamaica you know and decide say i'm gonna make a little walk and them say in our article when we read say in born at jamaica you know what i mean and migrate to england and him come back come and stay with him brother and decide to take a look at nature walk you see me i say and 
it look like say you make the wrong turn. You see me? And end up in a bush and can't find him way back. And him drop out. You see it? So leave your comment about that in the comment section. So we are gonna move on, my people. Elderly farmer found dead in Clarendon. The body of a 60-year-old farmer was found um, in Clarendon Thursday morning. The farmer identified as Joseph Bell, a.k.a. Joe Bell, from the district, was believed to have been K-I-L-L on Sunday, but his body was not found until Thursday, the police said. Reports reaching our news team indicated that residents reported hearing loud explosions about 11.45 p.m. on Sunday. So that time of the night, people. Thursday morning, the residents smelled a foul odor and went to investigate. Upon searching, the residents discovered Bell partially decomposed body and called the police. An arrival lament saw the body of the now deceased lying on its left side in a metal shed. He was clad in a multicolored shirt, blue shorts, and barefooted. The body was between a bed and a metal shelf and had what appeared to be G U N S H O T wounds to the upper section and the right hand. Police processed the scene and remove the body to the morgue pending a post-mortem examination. So this 60 year old man, them can him up people and him drop out. So how him could have involved in a so. So I may have to say, wanna be careful out there. Even the elders them. You see it? <clears throat> so we are gonna move on, people. Alleged serial K I L L E R back to court on December. 5. December 5 will be the next court date for Ronald Ricketts, the St. James man charged with M-U-R-D-E-R in relation to the K-I-L-L-I-N-G of four homeless people in Montego Bay and the abduction of two females in separate incidents. He was given the new court date on Thursday when he appeared in the St. James Parish Court before presiding judge Keisha Grand Price who rem uh, remanded him in custody. Attorneys at law, Henry McCurdy and Suwain Phillips are representing Ricketts. He was also charged with forcible abduction. On September 13, the court ordered that he should undergo a psychiatric evaluation at the St. Catherine Adult Remand Center. However, the court was told on Thursday that while he had been seen by a doctor after he complained of injuries, it was unclear whether it was a psychiatrist. In addition, there is no psychiatric report on file. Concerning the MURDER charges, the court was told that several items are outstanding from the prosecution's case file, including the four post-mortem reports. Ricketts was arrested on August 30 and charged of abduction and assault at common law following allegation that he picked up the complainant along Umba Avenue in downtown Montego Bay and drove her to Melville Hall Avenue before brandishing a KNIFE and demanding Ray, Ray, Ray. You don't know what that means, right? The woman managed to escape from the car and scream for help, getting the attention of a nearby cop who were on patrol at the time. Ricketts was subsequently detained and taken into custody. Additional charges of forcible abduction, grievous Ray, Ray, Ray assault, you don't know what that means, and assault at common law have been filed in connection with another incident involving a second female, right? But the allegations in, the in, in that incident are not outlined in court. It is further alleged that while he was in custody, the incident that led to his arrest on August 30, Ricketts confessed to the KILLING of four homeless people in sections of Montego Bay between July 28th 
and August 20 this year. It is understood that all the victims were STAB with a sharp instrument while they were sleeping. Shano. So this man here is a menace, he's a maniac. He need to get half of the street, right half of the street, because he might do too much. You know what I mean? And then for send him away for as long as possible. See? So people, we are gonna move on to Derek Morgan. Not the one where they pan the road, the fish one, but the father, a queen I freak. I mean I not think me I go read out the article here. But me I go read some of it. You see me I said Derek Morgan to sue Queen I freak. The family of 83-year-old foundation singer Derek Morgan has retained attorney at law Charles Ganja Singh in Jamaica to pursue legal actions against Morgan's daughter, Ventris Morgan, more popularly known as Queen Africa, who made serious allegations against the tougher than tough singer. We have retained the service of Charles Ganja Singh to represent the defamation case against Van Trees, um, Merrick Morgan, a son of the legendary singer, said. Queen Africa 48 made the damning allegation against Morgan during an emotional, emotionally charged live stream on one of her social media platforms in August, the lioness and the rise reggae singer had been attempting to share what inspired her activism. Morgan firmly denied the allegation in a strongly worded uh, message on Instagram. Further, the Morgan clan SHOT down the allegation contending that the patriarch is a blind man with neurological impairment who could not have committed such a heinous act directly after the allegations report surfaced that Morgan was threatening to take legal action against his daughter for her comments. Ganja Singh, that are the lawyer, who is an artist in his own right, who goes by the moniker advocate, could not be reached for comments. So I'm not going to read no more people, because we are here this a while now, since Queen Africa made the allegations. Say, boy, them are going to sue her. You know what I mean? One of the sons of Derek Morgan come out and him say, Derek Morgan never knew Queen Africa until Queen Africa turned big woman and have picnic. You see me I say? That's what him say. You understand? But me I say, you can't really swear for nobody although, you know what I mean? You have to defend your name once dirt a show up on your name and you, know, and, you, and you know you know do it. Right? So, I can't say them not to do what they do or them to do it because me never did it. But I don't think Queen Africa would have come out with such an allegation against her own father just for publicity stunt. If something no goes so something near for go so that's how Jamaican say. You see me? So let me know what you think in the comment section, people. Igla K I L L in Lionel Town, days after gangsters slain there. A 55-year-old female igla was SHOT dead by unknown assailant in Capturland in Lionel Town, Clarendon, on Wednesday night. The deceased is Sandra Dawkins of Lionel Town. Reports are that about 7.30 p.m., Dawkins was walking along a roadway in the area when she was pounced upon an SHOT several times. Residents who heard the explosion Summoned the police and on their arrival, Darkin's body was found with G-U-N-S-H-O-T wounds. She was transported to the hospital where she was pronounced. No motive has yet been established for the latest K-I-L-L-I-N-G. There is no information to suggest both murders are related. Mitchell, a shop owner of Straight Street in Lantown, was allegedly making illegal electrical connection when he was approached by armed men who opened GU and fire, hitting him in the upper section of his body. Police investigators theorized that he was slain by rival gangsters. Mitchell 
was believed to have been a member of one of Clarendon's top gangs. Law enforcers also said he was a key suspect in a 2018 double knockings and clappings of two women and also the 2020 MURDER of a man in Ali. So people, just leave your like and subscribe. That's all I have to share with you guys this morning. So bless upon yourself and thanks for watching.